Our next caller is Jeffrey from Maryland. Jeffrey, what's up, man? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How y'all doing today? Good. How are you? All right. Uh, appreciate you taking the call. Um, so my question is, um, and I'll give you a little bit of my background. Um, uh, so I'm currently on MAPS Anabolic. Um, I've done, I'm on my third time on that. Um, so recently I got an injury on my back. I'm recovered from it. Um, but I feel like now for whatever reason, every time I go do like squats or something like deadlift, I feel like I get really sore the next day. Um, and I'm not sure if, if it's because I'm pushing myself too much. Um, and the prior, I was doing a lot of running. I stopped doing that um, because I felt like my knees started hurting from all that too much. Um, and my next question is, so I'm trying to re-enlist in the military. Um, I'm still currently, I'm way more than what I used to, but I think it's more of a muscle that I've gained, not, not body fat. I still fit my same clothes. Um, but uh, for, for to join the military, you have to weigh a certain weight for your height and weight. So my question is, how do you, how do you lose weight and still gain muscle while having to meet the military's requirements? All right, let's start with the first one. I need to ask you, when you say you get really sore, do you mean just your muscles get sore or the back injury starts to hurt again? So at first, um, I was going, I did lighter weights because my back was still hurting, but now it doesn't hurt. I just feel very sore. Okay. You just, you might be going too hard and too, uh, too heavy or maybe too much volume. It also could be, he's been, this is a third time around on maps and a ball too. Like his body might be screaming for something like maps performance and some mobility work. Too. Yeah. Actually that maps performance would be perfect for you. I think mm -hmm. that would be the perfect routine for you. And then as far as your, the, the fat loss, muscle gain type of stuff, that's going to be diet. I mean, you have, you're going to have the good training if you follow maps performance. And by the way, if you don't have that, we'll send that to you. But that's okay, gonna, great. That's going to be diet, dude. And then to pass the military test, uh, you need to practice the actual test. There's nothing's going to mm -hmm. get you. Nothing's going to make you more capable of passing the test, like getting good at the actual test itself. It's and are you are you concerned with your ability to pass tests, or is it just more the weight thing? Do you feel pretty confident you'll pass the physical? No. So I've already been in the military. My concern is just um, the weight. Uh, the weight, okay. because for my height, they require a certain weight, but I've gained more weight. So that would mean I would have to drop at least 15 more pounds in order to meet their requirements. And they do a lot of running. So I feel like that's another issue um, when it comes to like lifting weights as well. Yeah. This is another reason why I'm glad Adam mentioned performance because it's going to be a lot more protective of the joints and that repetitive stress is going to add up. Yeah. Uh, obviously, yeah, like losing weight is going to help. Uh, you know, it's going to help you feel like lighter in your feet, like less, you know, stress in the joints, but, um, to then reinforce that and go through those mobility sessions, especially, but like keep up, you know, your strength cycles is going to be, you know, a great compliment to what you're doing. Yeah. How, how long do we have uh, until to lose that weight? So we have about 15 to 20 pounds. We need to go down. How long do we have? Uh, there's time, but I would say it probably like three months. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got that. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. You Jeff, just Jeff. What are the worst? What are the worst foods you eat on a regular basis? Like, what do you have any any issues with, like soda or sweets or processed foods or, you know, what are your worst foods? My worst foods has to be sweets, probably. Okay. Um, I'm pretty good at controlling myself, but there are there's days that it, it, it could get pretty bad. What does that mean? Like, what does that look like? And candy, how often? Candy? What is it? Well, usually, so I usually meal prep and I have everything ready. So as long as I eat, I'm, I'm good. Um, but then let's say I'll go out with some friends on a weekend and I'll have some cookies and one will turn into 10. Yeah. <laughs> and but for the most part, especially, um, I don't, I don't always do that. Um, um, and I do meal prep every meal. So I'm pretty good on that. Um, you know what it sounds like? You know what it sounds like, Jeffrey? It sounds like, and I've seen, this is very common. Monday through Friday, you're on point. Saturday and Sunday, you go off a little bit. And so from a calorie perspective, what that tends to look like is, let's say somebody wants to, I don't know, let's say they want to lose a pound of body fat a week. So that's roughly, and this is loose, right? 3,500 calories of deficit a week. So what they do is they go, okay, I'm going to be at a 500 calorie deficit every day because that equals you know 2,500 calories. 
So Monday through Friday, they're good, right? So that's 2,500 calorie deficit so far. Then Saturday and Sunday, they go over by, I don't know, 1,000 calories each day, which is easy to do. It's very easy to do. I mean, 10 cookies could easily turn into 700 or 1,000 calories. Well, now your calorie deficit for the week is 500. So now it would take you weeks to notice one pound of fat loss. So those two days can make a big difference in how you know you, you start to lose body fat overall. If Sal's if Sal's right, and that is something that you struggle with is on weekends, I gave a tip to somebody else on a, one of these live questions a while back that I, I think, uh, and I had a lot of response from people that said, oh my God, I started doing that. That was a huge game changer for me. And that was, uh, if that's the case, like you, you struggle with just keeping your calories in check on the weekends, Sunday becomes the most important day of training and dieting. It's it's like a, a crazy hack that I figured out personally because I sugar and sweets are my thing. Weekends going over my also my thing. Also, if I were to take a day off of lifting or two, it would be Saturday or Sunday. And so if I build my routine around, okay, Sunday is the day I cannot miss. And that is the day that I'm going to be dialed in the most. It's crazy how the rest of the week kind of just falls in in order. Where if I don't do that on Sunday and I start off and I have a bad Sunday eating and then I go into Monday, it's harder to get me out of that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. And as far as uh, uh, the performance, uh, mass performance, would would you say include that with anabolic or just do no. performance? No, it's a new program. It's a whole new program. Just whole follow new program. performance. And it's got also, the, no more anabolics. Yeah, no more no more anabolic. Leave that. Leave that. Or you mean anabolics like steroids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why you're 200 pounds now. Yeah. <laughs> you're on that. You're on that D ball. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Maps performance is its own program. So you're gonna once we send that to you, you could scrap it, Maps anabolic and do Maps performance. I think it'll be better for what your goals are. Okay. Sounds great. All right, man. Thanks for calling in. All right, thank you. Take have a great, great day, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. How many times did you guys have that with clients where they're really good Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday they, according to them, they go off a little bit, and but they don't realize like how much damage those going off. That's days why do. this. Yep. I mean, that was a big thing for me. <laughs> uh, I remember I shared a long time ago. I shared on the podcast the the introduction to the body bug. Yeah. Uh, before that, we didn't have a good tool to be able to kind of get a good guesstimation of your metabolism right or what you're burning on a regular basis and it and i was so dialed monday through friday like i, I ate perfect i trained hard i was moving right. all day training 10 to 12 clients like super active burned a tremendous amount of calories five thousand plus calories a day i was at back then and then saturday and sunday there was times where i could drop all the way to 25 half yeah, you're just sitting on your ass and that's also the day i'd say hey it's saturday it's sunday i'm gonna yeah. have some pizza and watch football or i'm gonna you know have a beer or two like i would go off the diet i would possibly not train and i would be burning like 50 percent the calories so not much room for error i could i could easily go over and that the little bit i was going over on saturday sunday was enough to cancel mm -hmm. all the work i was doing the week and that was what that's how the sunday can't take it off thing happened for me i said okay well i'm just going to make myself dialed sunday's going to become my best day it's no longer going to be my worst day it'll become my best day and what ended up happening was if I set the tone on Sunday, the rest of the week, I ended up having a great week. Yeah, no, it makes a huge difference. When you said that, I know we got messages from people who mm -hmm. were like, oh, and it's the psychological piece of totally. it. Totally. Right? Yeah, totally.